aged 104. Looking back at a career that spanned more than 50 years, here's Paul Caddock in Los Angeles. Good afternoon, a legend from Hollywood's golden age. Olivia de Havilland was already a rising star when she had her defining role of Melanie in 1939's Gone with the Wind. It delivered her first Oscar nomination. She would eventually win two Academy Awards for Best Actress through a career spanning six decades and some 49 films. Her on-screen chemistry with Australia's Errol Flynn creating movie magic through the 1930s and 40s appearing together in nine films. I did adore having Errol Flynn kiss me. The most charming and most magnetic and most attractive man I think I've ever met. De Havilland was also a pioneer, successfully suing the Warner Brothers studio in 1944 in a big win for actors' rights. It was such a frightening thing to do. She felt what was unfair was a contract that could keep you in bondage to a studio for many, many years. She also had a legendary rivalry with her younger sister, actress Joan Fontaine. Honoured throughout her life, President George W. Bush awarded her the National Medal of Arts, and three years ago, she was made a Dame Commander of the British Empire. Olivia de Havilland passed away peacefully in her home in Paris. She was 104.